University from Japan, and Fukuoka University is one of our partner universities in Japan. In fact, we had faculty members visiting Fukuoka and doing lectures there, and at the same time, or also with Fukuoka University, they also are sending uh, professors from Fukuoka to talk about uh, Japan and to talk about opportunities uh, for partnership with Fukuoka University and even for internship and on the job training in uh, Japan. You're correct. And so the main objective of this particular activity would be that they will present Japan and its culture and basically this is like a prelude or an introduction or an overview because we are trying to come up with a project uh, that we will have exchange students and even intern students and OJT students who will be assigned in Fukuoka or in other parts of Japan. And so these are now the courses and these are now the students with the greater uh, chance or the opportunity or the ones that would have the greatest opportunity when it comes to internship and on the job training in Fukuoka and then in uh, Japan. And so with us this afternoon, let me present all our guests, starting with uh, the one who will do the lecture on Japan culture, Japan and its culture, Dr. Masahiro Abiro. University. Also with us would be Mr. Shobu Mochizuki. Also connected with Fukuoka University. With us also would be Ms. As Asuka Fujishita. And that would be one of the companies who, who actually is looking for OJTs. And by the way, Fujishita Company Limited is owned by the family of Ms. Asuka. And she is actually the second generation because his father was the one who established the Fujishita Company. And she is the second generation and we know her is the third generation. <laughs> Unfortunately, not with us this afternoon, but with, will be with the other activities, would also be Mr. Hide Kawanabe of Kawanabe Corporation, that would be the husband of Ms. Aspa. And then, with, the, with them also is uh, Mr. Iwomoto, the director of the Japanese uh, language, who, would, who is also with the team. And so with us this afternoon, we have Mr. Shobu, Dr. Abiro, and Ms. Asuka. And so without further ado, let me now give you Dr. Masahiro Abiro of Fukuoka University to lecture about Japan and its culture. And after the presentation, we will have our question and answer. So if you have like questions uh, related to going to Japan or everything about Japan, then Dr. Abiro will be very happy to answer your questions. And so without further ado, let me give down the microphone to our uh, speaker, Dr. Masahiro Abiro. Uh, I am uh, Abidu, uh, Masahiro Abidu, I'm from Kobe University, and I'm uh, going to talk about Japan. Uh, maybe I think uh, you may not know about uh, Japan, but uh, maybe you may know, you may know in the uh, anime. Uh, actually, I don't know much about it. Uh, when Japan, uh, this is the uh, map including uh, Philippines and Japan, and uh, the red uh, 
how is Japan? And uh, Japan is uh, uh, the, this kind of many a city. Uh, just I will uh, just uh, roughly introduce what is, it is like. Like uh, Sapporo, the northernmost region uh, in Japan. This is maybe you may not uh, familiar with the uh, snow, uh, which is a uh, very famous for the snow festival. Uh, this is being carved by snow. This is and the, uh, very much known uh, as a, a ski resort. And Tokyo is the capital of Japan. And uh, uh, this is the capital. Kyoto is the uh, old capital of Japan. So it is a uh, very traditional and uh, full of uh, culture and uh, very uh, ancient uh, building. Uh, Fukuoka. Uh, Fukuoka is the, the city I, we are coming from. This is a sleeping Buddha. This is a building. This is like a uh, door. And uh, unlike Philippines, Japan has a whole different city. You know, uh, here it is very hot in Philippines, but uh, in Japan now it's very cold. The spring and the summer and the water and the winter. Winter now is the uh, uh, this is and this is cold water and the summer and the spring is a very uh, much of a uh, uh, flowers. This is a castle with a uh, cherry blossom. This is a festival uh, famous in Fukuoka, very uh, big Yamagasa. That's the uh, main having the very heavy uh, things uh, and the cooking with the time. How far fast they love with the carrying these things. This is a uh, color. And the winter is like this. Anya River is a uh, very first day of a uh, uh, year. It's very special event. In January 1st, the beginning of the year, is, uh, many people will go to a shrine. Uh, a lot of people uh, coming to shrine. Even though most of the uh, Japanese don't believe in uh, this kind of God, but uh, they will go to the shrine for the uh, just uh, the first uh, praying for the, the God or something, but without uh, this is a uh, traditional uh, uh, scene of Japan. And February uh, now is the uh, famous is the Valentine's Day and uh, February 14th. Uh, this is a, uh, considered as a day the uh, girl, uh, if you have somebody you like, uh, then the, you will give the present to men. They, they, you can, this is the uh, only chance for women to confess the, the person who uh, you, you like in your mind. So this is a uh, uh, most uh, in most case uh, you will give the present uh, of chocolate to the man who you love. And uh, this is the Mehomaki is uh, the now this is traditionally started now on the uh, February 2nd. Uh, then uh, we will eat this uh, uh, rice bowl. This is new tradition. And uh, sensible is uh, 
just a, we are just a, uh, this is something related to the, the um, shrines or some uh, Japanese uh, Shinto, Shintoism and uh, then uh, this is uh, Igbo and there is Igbo and uh, uh, some good uh, things and uh, they will uh, uh, just uh, slow the uh, beans and saying uh, Igbo out and uh, good things in. So something uh, this is very uh, special uh, event. And April is very famous for the uh, uh, cherry blossom. Uh, cherry blossom uh, season just uh, cherry bloom only one week. So the people will go under the tree and uh, they will appreciate the flowers. And uh, then they will eat the, the something to light under the tree. And dry. Uh, in this season, uh, you are uh, going to the Bayoa and Ushino uh, Hill. Uh, this time, uh, you will eat. Uh, eat. You know, eat. Eat. You know, eat. Somebody know eat. eat. Some, some, yes. Some fish which is quite slippery. And uh, this is very delicious. Uh, uh, this is a. Uh, uh, in days of year. And Hanabata is also a uh, dry season, is a, a day to uh, celebrate the uh, this day. And August is a, uh, uh, we have uh, January and uh, August, uh, usually uh, people will come home. Uh, first day of uh, January and also that uh, this Obon uh, period. Obon is uh, a period uh, the family get together and uh, uh, that uh, person will return so that the uh, family member will uh, get together uh, in this day. Uh, usually the August is a day of August. And also, uh, we are looking at the uh, moon, uh, appreciate the uh, moon. And December, the last day of uh, 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 last day will be celebrating the final day of the year, eating osoba. Osoba is a noodle. Uh, uh, very, uh, 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 this is a very typical event in Japan. About cut. You know this cartoon? Crayon Shinchan. This is Akihabara. Akihabara is a uh, in Tokyo, so many uh, people, uh, young people, uh, this is the center of a very big shop. And, uh, and this is uh, Japanese sushi. Maybe you, you, you know. This is typical uh, Japanese food, tempura. So, this is quite familiar with you. This is udon. Udon. The noodle. Very simple noodle. Very, uh, I think that uh, food is uh, also very tasty. But uh, these are uh, very uh, bland or tasty. But uh, the Japanese like this kind of uh, uh, very light uh, taste. And, uh, Koinobori. Uh, this is hard, but uh, made out of uh, paper. This is uh, celebrate the day of uh, uh, 
main of is a day of uh, child, main uh, celebration. And uh, next time I'm going to explain about Japanese. Japanese are three different characters. One is hiragana. Hiragana is a uh, very simple uh, character which is made out of about uh, 15 characters. Uh, 15 characters. And katakana is different in uh, similar and uh, quite similar. And also kanji. Kanji is very difficult. Hiragana is like this. Uh, 48 characters. This is like R, E, Q, A, O. R, E, Q, A, O. Like this. And you, if you remember only 48 characters, you can read at least the, uh, the minimum uh, character you can understand. Once you read, you can read, then you can read the basic Japanese. And Katakana is a little slight different version of Hiragana. And this is also a uh, body. We use this Katakana uh, when we express in <coughs> not Japanese, like a, a foreign language, <coughs> uh, American or uh, some foreign character, if we write in the in pronunciation, they, then we use katakana. And next is the little difficult one, kanji. Kanji is like this, very complicated, very much complicated. And about uh, 50,000, very difficult. But it seems to, for you, it is very much difficult, but idea is not that thing. Uh, difficult. I will show <coughs> like this. Uh, the top is a you use the sum. Sum is the sum original shape is like this, but it is grows maybe simpler. Then it will become the character. This is very very like this. Like this, like this, like this, like this. And uh, this is here. Here is like this. And uh, this is moon. Moon is like, like this. And uh, mountain is like this. So this is human being, Ito. Is like this. Installed or like this. Moon is like this. So that the, <coughs> the kanji is looks very typical, but originally it, it is uh, made out of the shape from the so that the, you, we can imagine from the character that the uh, image behind. So Japanese kanji is very much uh, uh, related to the original natural uh, image. So once you understand, you will uh, you can to uh, have an interest about Japanese character. Uh, this, then, then, then I will make a. Uh, uh, ask you the question. This country. Imagine what this country means. Very good. Yes. 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 Three. Three. Thank you.
Moto Onsen. So if you come to uh, Japan, please come and visit uh, Onsen. Uh, sometimes, uh, usually when I come to Japan, uh, you don't like to uh, become naked in the public, but uh, this is quite common in Japan. So, uh, don't uh, be afraid of the taking class. Please challenge. And uh, next about the uh, uh, economy. Uh, I will uh, explain about how the economy. And uh, please look at this chart. Japanese economy is uh, up to 1995. Japanese economy is keep increasing. But since from 
So this is the why that the now that the more uh, mass production is not possible or uh, not the uh, mass consumption is possible. <coughs> Previously in Japan that the, because of the uh, economy is uh, growing very fast, so that the, the company has to hire the very intelligent person or or very loyal person like a robot, which uh, whatever they, the, the, somebody says, uh, they just follow what they say. So that kind of uh, people will will uh, necessary. So that the, uh, previously mechanical mechanical people like robot like robot like robot people uh, will be necessary, but now uh, Japanese economy requires the people who is like a robot, not like a robot, who think by themselves. This kind of person will be uh, required. And also, uh, Japanese economy is uh, is limited. However, the population of uh, Philippines, this population of your country keep growing. Economy is also growing. What does it mean? Japan need the person, people, to labor force from we cannot uh, uh, hire from Japan because of uh, uh, the labor shortage. And so that uh, we need the person like you. If you come to uh, Japan, we really appreciate you are coming to Japan. This is the uh, present situation of Japan. That, that is what I want to say. And uh, this is uh, the difference between the demographic or the uh, structure of uh, population. Philippines uh, is very beautiful like a pyramid. So, however, Japanese uh, uh, the composition of the uh, population is like this. So, younger age is very small. And, uh, uh, but uh, in your case, you have uh, many, many young people with uh, coming. So, uh, find uh, you have enough uh, 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 labor force. So, uh, we need to compensate the, the lack of people by your help. This is the reason that uh, we want to welcome uh, the new people uh, to Japan. So I want, uh, really want you to come to Japan and uh, uh, I want you to become a good friend with uh, all of, uh, our students. Japan welcome you and uh, uh, today we uh, have Yamato, he is now in, in the environment uh, group but uh, he is a uh, uh, director of a uh, Japanese language school. If you come to Japan, and, uh, his school will take care and uh, show opportunity as a uh, uh, Asuka and the Minato. We are really waiting uh, for you. So, uh, this is just a roughly uh, introduction about Japan and uh, uh, the why uh, Japan, Japan we, we are waiting for you. So that, uh, this is my just a uh, brief summary of, uh, of about Japan so that uh, if you have any question I will answer.
so much, Dr. Hiro. That was a very uh, good uh, presentation about Japan, its culture, food, people, and uh, many more. And I think that would have given you like an insight uh, of, uh, 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 in uh, summary, what Japan really is. Because the challenge really, because I mentioned that you are supposed to be uh, our prospects for interns and OJTs in Japan, but then the challenge would be the language and the culture. Will you survive? And so that is why even now that you are still in your second year, we are already preparing because it would take like at least one year for you to learn Nihongo, the Japanese language, and to study also the culture of Japan. And this is already like a preparation. So second year, so you will have like in your third year, one year, if you are really interested, so you can like enroll, or you can do study of Japanese language and culture and so on, so that when you reach the fourth year, which is supposed to be your internship, and you are really prepared, and then you can do your internship and in OJT in Japan. As uh, mentioned by Dr. Hiro, they have lots of jobs there, but they have few young people. We have lots of young people and not so many jobs here, and so maybe Japan is for you. Okay. And so now we will entertain questions. And so Dr. Hiro, Mr. Shobo, and Ms. Aspa can also answer your questions. Yes? You can raise your hand, and, uh, or maybe you can, yes, you can raise your hand, and uh, you can uh, shoot your question, or maybe you can write your question in a piece of paper, and then I will read your question. So maybe I will shoot, while you are preparing your own question, maybe I will shoot the first question, Dr. Aviro. Uh, Dr. Aviro, what do you think would be the greatest challenge for a Filipino student who will do his or her internship in Japan? Yes. Uh, the, as for internship, we uh, uh, the, this memory group is uh, uh, Welcome. Chinese uh, already uh, said uh, they will accept that you come to Japan. That, that first year for two two persons, and uh, this is the uh, memory group with the uh, they are about uh, fifty uh, billion uh, yen uh, uh, annual uh, sales company and uh, they have a group of a uh, 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 hotel and a wedding and a funeral party and uh, many other uh, uh, department and also they have uh, many uh, uh, hotel in uh, like uh, Nagasaki and uh, Unzen where she is from this is very nice uh, place where they went uh, for the, uh, uh, the, for the Unzen city, which is very nice, and uh, uh, there's a hot spring there also. And they will accept uh, uh, two students first year uh, here, uh, and uh, they will pay the, some minimum uh, salary in Japan. So under they is going to they are going to provide the accommodation. So actually you have to pay first uh, the airlines uh, ticket but the uh, the food uh, the uh, accommodation will be provided so that the only uh, expense is the food but the, this is enough you will enough salary for them. So uh, like those place, uh, you can uh, just uh, try to come, and uh, then the, you will see the 
how Japanese company uh, uh, welcome you. And uh, Nagasaki is a, a city, maybe you, you may know the name of Nagasaki. Uh, Nagasaki and Hiroshima is uh, where the atomic bomb was dropped, but uh, very beautiful uh, city. So, uh, Hiroshima also is a uh, very beautiful city. So, please uh, visit and come and visit. Japan and uh, uh, I think that the uh, challenge will be that the uh, language is uh, a little bit different. So that but uh, if you uh, study language, then we, you will uh, see the uh, culture behind the uh, character, like the like what I explained. So uh, please uh, visit uh, and. Uh, Thank you. And that will be just only one of the many opportunities. I think this one will be for College of Hospitality Management for BS Tourism uh, students. You can do your OJT or internship in the Japanese hotels and Japanese restaurants. Very nice. Okay. And Dr. Apiru, by the way, would know a lot of people, uh, owners of companies and even people working in the government. And so he has the connections and he knows many companies that would accept uh, OJTs and interns coming here from the Philippines and specifically students of Central Philippine University. Okay, any questions? Okay. Or maybe we can uh, require each uh, group to have one question at least Okay, so prepare your question from uh, CARES, from Mechanical Engineering, from Packaging Engineering, from uh, Mechanical Engineering, uh, and the rest of the groups who are here, I will call on you, so prepare uh, one representative who will ask uh, the question. But uh, for some of your uh, Written questions, Dr. Aviro. There is, there is a question. There is a question here. What are the requirements? What are the requirements if you want to work full time in Japan after graduation? Uh, yes, actually, uh, this company is going to accept internship, but. Uh, their uh, main intention is not to accept you just the internship, but uh, uh, they, if possible, they want to, uh, if possible, they want to accept you as a uh, the permanent uh, job because they, uh, they need the, the very because the Japan is now that the. Uh, I think uh, I uh, last December I was in India for three weeks, and uh, February the first week of February I was in Malta Republic for one week, and uh, now I'm here. And next month I will be in uh, the United States. So I'm uh, always traveling around the, uh, the world, and I came to realize that uh, Japan is the most, uh, quite uh, less expensive country to stay compared with other advanced countries. Japan is a very uh, less expensive and uh, compared uh, with the quality of the hotel or the quality of the food, uh, I think that many foreign people will see the uh, Cost advantage of Japan. So that, that means that a lot of uh, foreigners will come to Japan. Uh, so that means that the hotel uh, needs a lot of people who can speak English and uh, taking care of the customer. So that uh, they really want to uh, hire, but uh, they are uh, but uh, they are quite uh, uh, not experienced. And, uh, so that uh, they are afraid that uh, they can have to 
deal with the foreign people. But uh, once they got, get the uh, reliability that uh, each other, then they will, they, uh, they will increase the number of uh, people to hire. So that uh, if they convince, oh, this is this the uh, student from Philippines is really good, then they, they convince they will hire more and more people. And uh, another example, this is a uh, the the company for the uh, hotel, uh, but the uh, the other company is uh, this is a uh, uh, manufacturing. Company. Uh, the IoT Institute in the industry. This is a free transfer equipment, the transfer system and the robot maintenance. This company also interested in the powering the uh, accepting that the Philippine uh, you, you the student from Philippine. They also uh, went to the, the company and uh, they uh, directly here, they are currently uh, the, accepting the student from Korea, but uh, they want to switch from Korea to uh, Philippines. So they want to uh, accept a uh, uh, student, and uh, they are they are now thinking to set up the uh, plant in Philippines and. Uh, Use uh, study was uh, stay in Japan for several years, but in experiment then you came to know what uh, the, the, the what uh, the working workflow and then uh, how to uh, work. Then they are going to employ. Uh, uh, they are going to hire you, and uh, in the long run, you are. They are going to make you to become a manager of the uh, uh, Philippine plan or something like that. that this is the, uh, my, the, the, what they are thinking in their mind. So that uh, uh, if you prove yourself to be the quite uh, reliable, so that the, the relation uh, will be uh, built. The, the, the new, new day, you, you think that the boss is reliable and the boss also think you are reliable. So mutual reliability uh, will be built. Then, uh, then uh, long term relation will be can be uh, made. This is the empirical. Uh, and also, there are many, many, many other companies who is interested in this kind of. Uh, All right, and so I think it would be easier for you to enter Japan uh, after graduation or to really work there if you have uh, done your internship in Japan. And so if you were an OJT in Japan and then after you graduate, I think it would be much, much easier for you already to what? To be uh, accepted in Japan to work full time. And correct, when we visited these companies, they are also willing to uh, help you process the documents, support the uh, OJT students, and so on and so forth. As mentioned by Dr. Apiro, right now for Tai Chi, they're having uh, Korean uh, students as their OJT, but they wanted to switch to, to, to uh, uh, accept now Filipino students because uh, of our advantage that we can speak the English language better so that if they have international clients then the Filipino uh, students who knows how to speak the English better can deal with their international clients and so the opportunity for you to become higher in position would be uh, would be great if you if you would uh, go there as an intern. Okay. Any more questions? So let me ask from CARES, your representative for one question. Question or comment from CARES? Do you have the president of your student organization? Yes, question? 
Yes, okay. Can you please come here? So this will be a question from uh, the College of Agriculture, Resources, and Environmental Sciences. What are the career opportunities? Just uh, uh, talking about uh, a very general comment. Uh, because the, now Japanese have, Japan has a, a problem of, uh, uh, in the rural, the population decreasing in, the, uh, in, the, uh, in Japan. That means rural area is the, the people is like a, a small village, small uh, uh, rural area that decrease is quite serious. That means uh, the now each people's uh, uh, the, the area of uh, each uh, individual uh, farmers the about uh, uh, one hectare or two hectare, but uh, because of the uh, population decline, uh, each person's uh, area is growing very fast because of the, the, uh, the, 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 the usually the people uh, uh, get older, they cannot work uh, uh, for the agricultural field, so that uh, they will abandon. Then somebody is to take over. So the each uh, people uh, uh, have to uh, work more now. That means uh, productivity of each individual farmer is jump up, increase very much. That means productivity increase. That means uh, uh, use of a machine is more important. So that the uh, agricultural industry have more possibility in in the in general. So uh, the, the people who have a uh, uh, strong interest have a uh, very so that the, so those people is uh, will be connected to the uh, company like Fujita. Uh, so that uh, I think uh, uh, you have a very big opportunity. So that uh, I will ask uh, Asuka to make a comment. Yes, Fujishita company of Asuka is actually a company that will make farm machineries. So they have like potato harvesters, potato planters, and many more machines. And so. Uh, if you are in agriculture or in uh, ABE, then uh, that would be related to the company of ASCA. Oh, thank you for a good question. And, uh, okay, uh, my company is an uh, agricultural machine company. And, uh, like, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm nervous. And their company actually builds their own, and so they construct their own machines. And so they don't sell, but uh, they sell, but it is their own invention, the work of his father. So all the machines are original. Thank you. Because uh, the Dr. Abir mentioned the number of. Uh, the number of the opportunities. Okay. So our clients, the number of uh, the age is really like there are many elderly people. So they can, for example, my um, my father invented 
the potato harvester. Because potato is very heavy, right? So it's very hard for um, elderly farmers to uh, harvest. That's why my father invented the new machine. And also a potato planter as well. So, and now the farmers um, <laughs> farmer bought our products, like, uh, yeah, like uh, many, many, many products. So, which means I think pro productivity is a key point. And through, ma through our machine, uh, farmers can use only like a two people or three people. But, you know, um, so usually they need to hire, for example, like 10, 11 employees. But they don't need to hire the 10. They just can do with the family even though they are over like 80 years old. That's our um, strong point of our product. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jessica. Very good answer. And so now we will ask one question from uh, the College of Hospitality, College of Hospitality Management. Uh, any question from our uh, BS Tourism uh, students? Konnichiwa. <laughs> Since we are in the second year that we in our college, we would like to ask what are the qualifications to be chosen as one of the exchange students since we are studying right now Japanese class of only Hiragana and Katakana. We would like to ask what are the qualifications to be, to be chosen as exchange students. I'm not a person to choose, but uh, I think uh, uh, qualifications uh, is uh, uh, you are honest and uh, reliable and as a human being, uh, trust person, person. That is, uh, I think, the uh, main, main qualification. And uh, I don't uh, think that uh, some uh, knowledge of, uh, for example, of uh, mathematics that, uh, is not uh, necessary. But the uh, most important is that uh, human uh, characters. But, uh, as a human being, as a person, uh, you are uh, respected and trusted from the, uh, your friends. Then uh, these are the uh, person who, because uh, if you go to the company, you will uh, meet the customer. And uh, if you give that uh, good impression to the customer, then it's okay. But uh, just uh, if the other the last case, the, this is, uh, that, that will, if you do something very bad for the customer, that will destroy the uh, company's reputation. So this is something to uh, avoid. That's it. This is something that the situation to avoid. So, uh, the qualification is, uh, I think, that the uh, personality. So the question is, are you a good person? <laughs> are you all good persons that you are qualified? Yes. Okay. One last question from the College of Engineering. Or volunteer to ask. I have one. So I, I will read one last written and then your final question. So the question uh, I will read. As we all know, Japan is one of the best countries in terms of technological advancement. Therefore, we would say that one needs to be from a very prestigious and academically good school also. How about those who want to work in Japan but are not so technologically advanced, shall I say, or not coming from a very prestigious school? 
Or should we say, you're not so technologically very good. Is there still a place for them in Japan? Uh, that, that is a very good question, I think. Uh, because uh, I, my, my university, uh, Fukuoka University, is not like a prestigious university, like Tokyo University or Kyoto University is a very uh, famous university. But uh, less than average uh, university, I think. But and, uh, among the, uh, uh, those students, my students, is I have uh, almost about so, uh, 400 uh, students every year. And the uh, uh, representative will be chosen uh, among the students. And uh, many of my uh, quite capable competing student is coming from the group which is uh, not in the uh, very good student, so, so to speak. In the, we are, uh, in, the, in the Japanese school, we have a uh, classified uh, student by standard deviation. That is uh, uh, the classified very low uh, in the uh, academic performance. Uh, that, that is a uh, uh, very low uh, standard deviation group. Guy is more, more likely to be a leader. So this is quite strange, but uh, among the students who have uh, uh, with a high uh, academic level is not to become a volunteer uh, to be the, the representative of the group. And, uh, so that uh, in the, after the graduation, and in the real, uh, real field, after graduation, the uh, uh, student who is uh, quite actively uh, the, give the good performance, uh, I will uh, give you the uh, example. One of my students, last uh, two years ago, uh, he uh, graduated, applied the IBM and the NEC. And uh, he was uh, uh, post, uh, the selection process was going on, but uh, in the IBM, the uh, toy requirement is minimum toy requirement is uh, 600. But uh, for, uh, my poor student, this student is a uh, uh, 350 is his score. So that uh, once he knows minimum requirement of uh, uh, IBM is uh, above the 600, so that uh, he abandoned, he gave up the uh, going further to the recruiting process. But the, after he uh, abandoned the, the, the personnel from the IBM company will telephone him, why you don't quit the uh, screening process? He said, yes, because of the uh, minimum requirement of your COVID score is uh, 600, I'm not uh, uh, like that. Then the, the uh, IBM uh, personnel said, oh, we need the person like you, so please don't uh, give up. And uh, he actually passed the exam and uh, he is now working for the idea. And uh, he is one of the best workers in the group of the, among the, the group, including the, the, the Tokyo University graduate, Kyoto University graduate, and uh, many good university graduate. But uh, this poor guy is always the top of the self. And uh, he's, he, I quite of, uh, three days ago, I, I met him in Osaka, and he came to my uh, hotel, and uh, I asked him about how much you are making a salary. Then he said, oh, this month uh, with uh, three million yen. 
and I paid like a, a, a one million yen tax or something. So, so his the performance is so uh, hot. So that the performance in the real life and the performance in the academic life is not proportional. So that the, the, forget about the uh, uh, performance in that. Correct. So it's not, not all about academic performance, it's all about attitude. And so if your IQ is 100 but your attitude is zero, no, you're not qualified. But if your IQ is 100 and your EQ is also 100, very good. And so if your IQ is 50 but your EQ is 150, that is still very good. So yes, you still have a future in Japan. <laughs> and our last question will come from uh, the College of Engineering.
uh, I will make the relation with the, uh, our student with you guys and, uh, so that uh, maybe Steve Fujita san will, will help you to uh, make a socialization with the, uh, the fellow student in the uh, Fukuoka University and uh, I'm going to create uh, this kind of situation to avoid the loneliness or the problem uh, you are facing. That is uh, in my uh, best effort uh, 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 to make a uh, uh, good situation. That is If you guys feel loneliness, come to my house. <laughs> And so, Dr. Abiro is offering that uh, he will uh, let you meet uh, with the students so that you will have friends from Fukuoka University students. And uh, Ms. Aska is also offering his house if you feel lonely so you can like visit his house. And his family is very great, very uh, hospitable and so I'm sure you will forget all about your loneliness. And so, uh, to finally end uh, this activity, thank you once again, Dr. Amiro, Mr. Shobo, Ms. Aska. <laughs> so we will have one very short, one minute message, uh, last piece of advice from uh, Dr. Aris Romaliosa from CARES, because uh, she was also, uh, was given a chance to have an immersion in Japan, and so you can have your one minute final advice to the students to be followed by the one minute closing remarks by our closing message by our Dean of the College of Engineering, Engineer Dani C. Molina. Thank you. So uh, again, uh, we're thankful that the schedule is pushed through and uh, also we would like to thank the students here. So uh, last year we all first time in Japan and we were immersed in the beautiful culture of Japan. So I love nature and nature is very beautiful in that place. So if you feel lonely, go to the park, jog, practice, no? uh, explore the artistic side view, take pictures, or of course you can go to last last place and play with me. So to my young students, environmental management students, and also to HM and engineering, I really, really encourage you, if you have the means to go there, Go to Japan and explore uh, other cultures. Learn a new language. Ako, if given the chance, I would like to learn Japanese. And for my students, I encourage them to start learning as early as summer so that more or less we still have like 10 months to prepare. For the visa, I think uh, we could uh, seek assistance from, from the uh, travel agencies here because the companies that would be inviting you would also be sending letters. So I think it would not really be a problem. It's more on preparing for the language. So I think that would be my best advice. And of course, uh, to look forward to experience, experiencing a new place no, that is really beautiful, colorful, no, and very hospitable, respectful people. So it's also similar to the place. But you know, and of course, there's that would solve your loneliness. So thank you and Okay, good afternoon everyone, uh, especially to our guests from Japan, uh, Dr. Biro, Mr. Shobo, and uh, Ms. Asuka and Inako. It's very busy. Actually, uh, as what uh, Dr. Aris mentioned, the three of us were actually given the opportunity to visit Japan. From Tokyo, we went to Fukuoka, and then uh, we never felt lonely in our one week, very heavy schedule visit in uh, Fukuoka and then to Nagasaki. Yeah, it's a very nice place. So, there are a lot of things that we are exploring here. Uh, like, say, one is internship that was mentioned already. Some of the companies are actually very much willing to come here and present their company and discuss with you opportunities of uh, having your own the job training in uh, Japan. They are even willing to give you allowance and to the extent perhaps of giving you airfare, well that depends upon the negotiation. But uh, there are a lot of opportunities. So as early as now, you prepare because in one year or a year and a half, uh, that will be the best time for you to go to uh, Japan, to 
Kuga especially. And uh, well, of course, just a while ago, one thing that came into my mind is uh, we have your Filipino seminars. I think Japan would also be a one good place to visit, to explore. Uh, we have people from Kuga who has connections with the government, with the industries. Uh, so I think that's one thing that uh, we can discuss with them. And uh, like, if uh, it will turn out to be feasible and favorable, okay, maybe we can have your on the seminar and film in Japan. Although it's a bit expensive, but uh, I think uh, with enough preparation, uh, that will be possible. That will be possible. Uh, so uh, on Wednesday, by the way, there will be another lecture. The company of uh, Asuka, she will be presenting uh, Fujishita Company. So we are again inviting you, uh, engineering students and biosystems, especially because they are dealing with machineries. So if you are very much interested in machineries and having your OTP perhaps in their company, okay, please join us in the discussion on Wednesday. That will be 9 to 10.30, still here at EM 200. Okay? Uh, so we are expecting engineering students uh, agriculture and biosystems to join us. Likewise, on Friday, 4 to 5 30, we will have another uh, series of lectures. That will be the last lecture that we will be doing. Uh, Fukuka is known to be having uh, a very good practice in uh, solid waste management, household waste especially. Uh, Asuka's husband will be coming over to uh, also share their experience on household waste management because they had this company uh, which was uh, contracted by the government to manage this uh, solid waste in the city of Fukuoka. So they have a very good experience and you will really be amazed on how they, uh, they uh, manage their solid waste from uh, solid waste to something that is really very useful. Uh, they have one of the best practices in the world. So they will be sharing with you their practices. So please don't miss that opportunity be here on Friday, 4 to 5 30, in the same room, okay? That is on solid waste management. And by the way, uh, Mr. Shobo here, if you are very much interested in cosmetics, he is an expert in cosmetics. He is a president actually of a cosmetic company in Japan. Yes, Mr. Shoko. So if you are if you are interested and you want perhaps to have some OGT also uh, about cosmetics, right? Yeah, you may also have your on the job in chemical engineering. You now if you are interested in cosmetics, that may be possible. Okay, so we have here a pool of people with very good uh, industry experiences and connections to make things uh, happen to us. Uh, so this is now level up CPU. You know? We are going international. So as early as now, we want to let you know that we have this program so that you can discuss this with your parents. And if you are interested, you can start planning now, saving especially learning the Hongo language so that when time comes, you are now ready to go. So, so with that, again, uh, shall we give a uh, big round of applause to our guests? Thank you very much. And uh, see you on Wednesday, 930 and Friday, 4 to 5. Again, thank you very much. And that's our activity this afternoon. Go proceed. If you have a 540 class, go directly to your class. And so we thank again all our guests. And thank you everyone for coming uh, this afternoon.